When I was younger, I used to think studying for tests meant I just read my notes over and over. So I'd spend a lot of time doing that. And there was this one time I memorized everything in my notebook and I, I felt so confident. So I get to the test and I'm sitting there reading it over. My brain is just like, nope, that's, I don't know any of this. I'm just like, I, I'm gonna fail. And I asked my teacher and she said, well, there's a difference between memorizing something and learning something. I think she called it the illusion of competence. So I go home and I'm sitting at my kitchen table. My dad walks in, you know, we both sit at the table together and I start explaining to him, I've been studying for hours. I thought I knew everything. My dad said, all right, well, get your stuff out of your bag and let's practice together. While I was getting ready, he would take his phone out. And while I'm reading the problem to him, he'll be looking up the problem on his phone. Then as we're working on it, he would just ask me questions. He wouldn't tell me any of the answers, which I thought was really annoying. I would be confused, but he would just keep asking questions. And then at some point, the problem would click for me. And I would all of a sudden go, oh, I, I get it now. I think that's the best way to teach. We need to allow our students the space to discover these things by asking the right questions. And that's really what I'm going for.